Hi, I'm Mrs. Myers. My name is Jenny. I'm going to be your student nurse in the University of Detroit Mercy. Okay. We're going to be doing a head to toe assessment on you. Excuse me, I'm going to go wash my hands, okay? Okay. Alright, do you have any allergies you need to be aware of? No. No? Are you in any pain today? Yeah. Okay, where is your pain located? In my elbow. Okay. On a scale of 0 to 10, what would you rate your pain? A 5. A 5. Do you need medication at the moment before we proceed on? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Um, is the pain a dull pain, a um, sharp pain? It's a sharp pain. Okay. Does it radiate anywhere else? Yeah. To my, my fingertips. It goes to your fingertips. Mm -hmm. Okay. How long have you had this pain? Um, since Saturday. Did you do anything um, to make it hurt? Did you fall? Um, I was helping my brother move, and I think that I might have heard it, left in some boxes. Okay. All right, great. So I'm going to report that to the doctor. Does anything make it better? Um, I take ibuprofen for it. Okay. Yep. So I'll report that in your chart, okay? Okay. So since you said you didn't need any pain medication, we can continue on with the head-to-toe assessment, right? Yep. Okay. So the patient seems to be dressed appropriately. There's no obvious signs of body odor. She, um, her speech is... Her speech is um, normal, with a normal rate and volume. Can I check your wristband, please? Yeah. Can you say your last name for me? Myers. And what's your birthday? 11, 10, 90. Okay. And where are you right now? Um, I'm at the hospital. Okay. And what's the reason as to why you're here? Um, for an assessment. Okay. So the patient is alert and oriented times four. Um, the patient doesn't seem to have any obvious signs of distress or illness, so I can continue on with her assessment. So first we'll be looking at your skull. The skull is normal cephalic. There is no obvious signs of lumps or bumps or lesions. There's no infestations in the hair. Go ahead and put your foot in face up. The skin is warm to the touch. There is an even skin tone. There is a nevus on her right upper cheek. There is, um, it is symmetric. The border is um, even and accommodating. There is um, an even color and the diameter is less than one centimeter, which is less than a razor head, and is not elevated. So that's, I'm gonna write that down for you, okay? So the skin, like I said, is even skin tone, there's no lesions, there's no drooping of the facial features. So what I'm gonna have you do is I'm going to press on a couple places of your face while I have your eyes closed, and you're gonna tell me where I'm pressing, okay? Okay. Close your eyes. Forehead. No. Cheek. All right, great. So that is testing your cranial nerve 5 for your facial sensation. So can you smile big for me and pop out your cheeks? Let me do right back. Okay, so cranial nerve 7 is also intact. So now I'm going to be looking into your eyes. You can stare straight ahead. Great, so your pupils are equal. They're round and they did constrict with the light. If you can stare straight ahead at my pen as it goes towards your face. Nice, and they did converge as well as constrict. So therefore, the pupils are equal, round, reactive to light, and accommodation. So now let me see your conjunctive here. So look up for me. It is clear, glossy, there's no signs of inflammation or cyanosis. So now we're going to be looking in your mouth. Go ahead and open your mouth for me. The mucosa is nice and pink. There is no signs of lesions or any type of cavities of the teeth because they are nice and white and evenly spaced. Go ahead and stick out your tongue for me. The tongue is moist and say ah. Uh, the uvula raises midline when you did say ah and your tonsils are graded at about a plus one because they are present. However, they're not inflamed, so that's a good sign. So now I'm going to look at your carotid arteries. So I'm going to palpate this real quick. Good. Okay, both of the arteries are um, equal bilaterally, they're rated at a plus two. So now I'm, not, I'm going to listen with the bell. When you feel my stethoscope, I want you to breathe in and hold it, okay? Nice. One more time. Okay, I did not hear any signs of relief. Okay. So now we're going to be moving down your arms here. The temperature is even, the hair distribution is even as well. The temperature is warm. Go ahead and flip your arms over. Her brachial pulses are equal. They're not bounding. They're rated at about a plus two. Move down to your, your radial. Those are nice. And, there you go. They're rated at a <laughs> plus two as well. And um, flip your hands over. 
Your nails are nice and clean. The capillary refill is at less than three seconds. There's no clubbing of the nails. I'm going to test your strength, so if you can grab onto my hands, nice and tight, good. There is no weakness of the upper extremities. So now we're going to listen to your heart, okay? So what we're going to do is in the second intercostal space, I'm just going to do that while I'm doing this, um, is her second intercostal space is the aortic, and that I should be hearing S2 sounds. Move over here to second intercostal space is pulmonic, also S2 sounds. Third intercostal space is going to be the herbs. Fourth intercostal space is the um, tricuspid, which should be S1 sounds. And then the mitral sounds in the fifth intercostal space and the cubicular line should be S1 sounds as well. Let me sitting here for 60 seconds. Okay, looking, listening to the apical heart rate. Flip it around to the bell, and we're going to be going upwards, backwards from mitral, tricuspid, herbs, pulmonic, and aortic. Great. Don't hear any abnormal S3 or S4 sounds, which is good. So now I'm going to be listening to your lungs. So every time you fill my stethoscope, if you could take a deep breath in for me, okay? Okay. start to breathe normally now. Alright, so I'm going to move to your back and do the same thing. Right up in there, go ahead, deep breath for me. Nice, now you can breathe normally. Okay, can you raise your arm for me and take a deep breath? All right, great. I don't hear any adventitious um, lung sounds, and that means your lungs are clear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test if you need tenderness down here, okay? Okay. Do you have anything there? No. What about there? No tenderness. Okay. So go ahead and lean forward for me. We're looking at your spine. The spine is midline. It is straight. There's no signs of scoliosis. Go ahead and sit up. Her anterior posterior diameter is a rate of 2 to 1 because 2 to 1. Alright, so now we're going to be looking at your abdomen, okay? Go ahead and lay down the pillow. It's a little crunchy. Do you need your feet out here? A little bit? Okay. So first I'm going to be inspecting the alvid abdomen. Then I'm going to auscultate, percuss, and palpate. Okay. Okay. So it is, um, the abdomen is flat, the contour is flat. There is no obvious signs of lumps or bumps or um, abrasions. So I'm going to be listening to your bowel sounds in all four quadrants. Sorry, I always do that. <laughs> okay, bowel sounds were heard in all four quadrants. If not, I will listen for a little bit longer, up to five minutes. So now I'm going to percuss. So down here in the right lower quadrant, it's going to be a tympanic sound. Up here in the right upper is going to be dull because of the liver. As well as over here, it's going to be tympanic until you get over to the spleen to be dull. And then also tympanic down here. Your aorta is right above the umbilicus, which it is midline, as well as your bladder is midline as well. Okay? So down here in the right lower quadrant is going to be the appendix and the cecum. Up in the right upper is the liver and the gallbladder. Left upper is the spleen, stomach, and the um, pancreas. And then the right or the left lower is the sigmoid colon. Did you have any tenderness in these areas? No? No? Okay, great. So I'm going to have you set up. When the patient set up, there was no signs of general vein distension. So that is good. I mean, moving down to your legs here. Okay, the temperature is warm to the touch. Are you feeling your popliteal pulses? Okay. Your pulse is rated at a 2 plus. It's equal bilaterally. Come down here to the feet. There's no signs of edema. 
The posterior tibialis is ulcerated at a 2 plus and equal bilaterally, not bounding. The dorsalis pedius pulse. It's good. Decal bilaterally also rated as a 2 plus. Um, there is capillary refill of the toes rated at a 3 seconds or less. And we're doing a um, little tickle test on you. Know, okay. Test, okay. <laughs> All right. So it is a negative Vinci test because her foot went down instead of that. Go ahead and sit or stand up for me. I'm going to have you walk to the wall. And then walk back. Go ahead and stand. And you can stand there. Go ahead and put your hands up for me. Close your eyes. And she would stand there for about 20 seconds. Do you feel dizzy at all? No? Nope. No? Nope. Okay, you can open your eyes. So she passed the Romberg test because um, did she did not feel dizzy. Now, are you in any pain at all? No? Nope. Okay, you can go ahead and sit down. And that will complete your head to toe assessment. Thank you. Thank you.